I was in the bathroom, you know, doing my makeup and just, you know, trying to be quick. And I noticed I had my phone lying there and I noticed that I, I, I've i been like getting calls, but I didn't recognize the number. But the calls, they, they wouldn't stop coming. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? I didn't pick up because I didn't recognize the number. I don't feel like picking up a number that I didn't know if I didn't have to. At some point, you know, after 10 minutes, 10 minutes, they were still calling me. So I was like, okay, well, I'll, I'll pick up, I guess. But I pick up the phone really carefully. And I saw that it was a number from Austria. I pick up really carefully, like, not wanting to say my name. So I just say, hello? <laughs> really carefully. What I then hear is somebody asking, like a, like a mature male voice, serious sounding voice, asks me, are you Mrs. Takanashi Kiara? And I'm like, yeah, awesome. <laughs> And then I was really concerned because like why are you asking if I am this person? This is weird. I normally don't get calls like this. It's very sus. And then the guy on the phone says, uh, I am so-and-so from the police in this, aka your city, this city, on this street. And I'm like, eh! And my mind immediately like this like freaking out like what the fuck did I do? What what did I do? What did I do? What could I what could I have done and what excuse shall I make? Why why would they call me? What what reason? What? What did I do? Did I do something illegal? I was trying to I was trying to remember if I did something illegal that they would know of. <laughs> But I, I couldn't think of anything. Well he tells me that this he is from this police department. Mm. Next, he asks me, Miss Takanashi, where are you? And I, I say, uh, eh? I'm, I'm in, I'm in Germany. And he asks, since when are you in Germany? I say, since yesterday. That's when I get more and more worried. Like, why are you asking me these questions? Are you looking for me? Are you trying to arrest me? Should I never come back home again? <laughs> and he's like, okay, don't worry. Calm down, Mrs. Takanashi, it's not so, not so bad, you know? I think he first asked me, like, if somebody has, like, access to my home or so. And I said, yeah, well, I guess my brother, he's taking care of my cats right now while I'm gone. And he says <laughs> that, the, that my neighbor uh, reported that my door, my entrance door was completely open and my cats were running around. <laughs> And that I should, if my brother is taking care of my home, that he should learn how to properly close the door. Kind of blaming it on my brother immediately, but um, he doesn't know how intelligent Swoop is. <laughs> uh, now the thing is, my door, you know, it it closes like automatically. You can still, you can't open it from the outside, but you can from the inside without, you know. But uh, I don't know, they were worried and and instead of just putting the cats back in and closing the door, what I suppose happened is the neighbor went in and was like, hello, anybody there? Didn't see anyone, didn't hear anyone. So they were worried and called the police and maybe, I don't know what they thought was worth it calling the police over, but maybe because maybe it looked like I got kidnapped or so. And yeah, they explained, well, everything's fine now. The cats, they put them back in. Actually, it was mostly one cat and the other one was hiding in the very back of my closet, which tells me they went through my whole apartment. Like they saw it all. And that makes me feel that very uncomfortable. I don't know if, if the neighbors saw everything or just the police, but it feels like kind of very uncomfortable for me because it wasn't perfectly clean and 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 you know there's like stuff like my my youtube play button somewhere and i hope they didn't see it like what the fuck like who expects the police to suddenly break into my home eh i can't be pre prepared for that i don't know <laughs>